Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so, um, task at hand, and uh, it's very tempting here to do weir stress substitution because we have a quotient of trigonometric functions, and that's the trigger for doing weir stress substitutions, right? But yeah, um, here we can do a clever little something that's really neat, so check it out. So this is what we can do. We could write the given integral as a half, and then integral um, cos x plus cos x. Obviously, I need to write more, but now let me justify why this half, because we only had a cos x, now we have two cos x. Two cos x times a half is still cos x. Yeah? Okay. Otherwise, um, the denominator is, um, let me write it more centered, sine x um, plus cos x, because I'm going to add stuff to the numerator, and this is what, what I'm going to add. I'm going to add sine x here, but wait, there is no sine x, so to make up for it, I'll subtract sine x, and then, of course, dx right there, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, if we um, group uh, the middle two like that and lead with them in the numerator and the next uh, writing of our integral, then this is where we're going to get um, cos x plus sine x, right? And then... Um, plus, um, and then I want um, cos x minus sine x, right? And so this whole thing is divided by sine x plus cos x. So um, I could write that as cos x plus sine x in this part. And then I'll write it as it is uh, sine x plus cos x in this part. And of course, Monsieur dx. Sorry, it's crowded down there. Um, uh, okay, it's better. Now, this here is 1, right? So I just have 1. And uh, so we can split this into two integrals where the first integral is a half integral of 1 dx or just half integral of dx. And then plus a half integral of this. Now, check this out. If we let u be sine x plus cos x, What's du going to be? du is going to be the derivative of this, which is cos x, plus the derivative of this, which is negative sine x, and then dx, right? That's du. So what I'm saying is, this is exactly a half integral of du over u with the substitution the u be um, sine x plus cos x. So then, what we have now is, well, a half integral of dx is just a half x, and then plus a half integral of um, du over u. But wait, that's just a half x plus a half, and then this integral is natural log of u, but u was um, sine x plus cos x, so sine x uh, plus cos x, and then plus c. Yeah?